All right, I'm here with head coach Glenn Breik after his team's 81 to 64 win over Fairleigh Dickinson, completing the season sweep over the Knights. Coach, we'll start with any uh, opening thoughts on your team's performance tonight. No, I was happy. I, I thought we did some good things. I, I think FDU is really good. They're getting better. They have probably the best young players in the league. I think they got a bright future. They're well coached. Um, so I was really happy watching them on film. I, I thought they were really good. When you look at uh, the way your team performed, you know, you come out in the second half, you open with that 6-0 run, kind of set the, 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 the momentum for the rest of the game. Do you feel like your team kind of performed the way you were hoping with for tonight? Yeah, I mean, we've come out of the half uh, and not been aggressive at times this year. And it, it's a new group, so they have to learn about that stuff. And I thought tonight they came out and set a tone in the second half. And, and I, I, you know, I, FDU was scoring. They have good players. They were making plays. Uh, but I felt we were digging in and, and trying, and we were all over the glass in the second half. I thought we did a really good job on the glass in the second half. I was going to say, yeah, you mentioned uh, being on the glass. They have plus 11 tonight in rebounds. That's not something that's happened too many times for your team this year. What was different about the way uh, they performed down low tonight? Well, we, we got them in the paint. We scored a lot more points in the paint. Than, so that's usually a recipe for success. And uh, I thought Patrick and Mike and, and, and Jack really, and everybody really did a good job in there. Yeah, 20 points each from Patrick and Mike. Uh, what is it about their, it seems like they're really, you know, there's some cohesion there that's starting to happen, kind of like we were talking about last game. You know, your team's finding some cohesion and those guys leading the way. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's a brand new team for the most part. We have about three, four, five guys back. Um, so we put it together. Um, and then we got hit with a lot of, you know, unfortunate situations. And, you know, those guys missed the first two league games. Pat missed another one after that. So, you know, it, it, it's been hard to get everybody, you know, going in the same direction throughout the year. You know, and in the beginning, you, in the first part of the year was tryouts. We didn't know what we had. So we're trying to figure out who to play, rotations. Um, I think FDU's in that situation because they got a lot of good young players and they're trying to figure out uh, a rotation as well. So, um, you know, I, I hope we've gotten it to the point now where some guys have established themselves, but we'll see. Um, but I, I, I like the way we're going, and we just got to try and keep getting better every day. You know, we, talk, we talked about the past couple of games, you feel like your team is trending in a positive direction. They're figuring things out offensively, getting back on defensive end and vice versa. Do you get that feeling in the locker room of the guys responding similarly? Listen, they, they've been a great group all year. So they, they've had a lot of reasons to, to put their heads down and, and, you know, go away and, you know, with all the things that we went through with the COVID, the injuries, the sicknesses, you know, et cetera. Um, but they never, they never have. I've enjoyed coaching them the whole season. They're great in practice and they keep coming back. But you also, when you have a group like that, that's new, you, they got to learn. And, and some things you can teach in practice and some things they have to experience in the games. You know, they have to experience situations in the games that you really can't duplicate in practice. So you guys are right back at it on Saturday against Sacred Heart, a team you played well against the last time you competed. That went up in Connecticut, this one on your home floor. What are some early thoughts on your uh, matchup with the Pioneers on Saturday? Uh, it's a toughness you know, deal because I was listening to radio the other day and there's a football coach on. He said, you know, he was in the NFL. He said, the only time guys are healthy are the, is the first day of training camp. And you know what? Everybody's banged up. Everybody's Nobody feels great right now. And it's a quick turnaround. You know, we can't do much tomorrow. We got to try and get their bodies right. We'll stretch them. We'll get some shooting in maybe and watch the film and walk through. And, and then you got to go out and perform. And uh, that's part of learning too. You know, we've been in this situation a few times now. Hopefully we're learning from it. Well, hopefully it's a special day for your team. We'll have the Levi Bow Trailblazer game as well as we're going to give away the Chucker Scholarship that I know is very important to you. It's, uh, there's a lot of emotions around this game. Yeah, you know, I always like to win on that day. He was such a great friend of mine and he was here. He was, you know, he didn't go here, but he was part of the family. And uh, obviously, Levi Bow, you know, you know what what he did here. You know, being the first, you know, black player at St. Francis, this, you know, that's a great, great thing to honor. And uh, we did it last year. I thought it was really, really nice. Um, we're going to honor Jerome Williams, who was a terrific player here, and a very nice man. He worked here for a long time. I wish I had him to rebound for us. He was a great rebounder. But um, it should be a nice day. It should be a fun day. Hopefully we can play well and, and, and do what we have to do. All right, Glenn, thank you so much. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks, John. Thanks.